All right, so in today's video, we're going to be doing another hands-on review and load testing on a portable all-in-one solar generator. So in today, we're looking at the new EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. All right, let's do a quick rundown of the specs on the Delta Pro 3. Now, the unit weighs in at 51 and a half kilograms or 113 pounds. But of course, you've got the multiple carry handles and the unit is built on wheels. So you can carry it here or you can use the extended carry handle here and basically wheel this around like a piece of carry-on luggage. Now, in terms of power output, the Delta Pro 3 can support a continuous load of 4,000 watts with surge power up to 8,000 watts, uh, which is going to be helpful for starting heavy motor loads. Um, I'm thinking well pumps. If you're going to be using this for home backup, not only can you run all of your 120 volt circuits like refrigerators, lights, computers, and televisions, but for those of you that are living in a more rural environment where you have your own water pump, you can run that as well, uh, well within that 8,000 watt surge capacity. Now in terms of power input, you have up to 7,000 watts of power input. And of course there are multiple charging modes. You can charge from an AC power source, you can also, of course, charge from solar, which is what many of you are going to be doing in an off-grid application. There are multiple AC power outlets. You've got five uh, NEMA 520R outlets, which are you're going to look like your standard 20 amp, 120 volt wall outlets. Um, you also have a 30 amp outlet at 120 volts. This is more for your, your RV type of uh, scenario. Uh, and then, of course, you have the NEMA L1430, four-prong generator style outlet. Um, I like this in particular because, again, if you're going to be doing a self-directed solar installation, uh, what you can do is have your electrician wire your home for generator input with a generator panel and a generator transfer switch, and you can take your output from the Delta Pro 3 directly into the generator port, and everything is integrated nicely for you. Now, in terms of storage capacity, you have 4.1 kilowatt hours of storage capacity per unit, now, of course, these are expandable with external battery packs. So if you want to expand beyond the, the internal four kilowatt hour storage, you can use additional expansion packs. Now, when you're using this in UPS mode, the switch over time is 10 milliseconds, meaning that basically your, your appliances won't know that there's a power outage. If the power input goes out, immediately the Delta Pro 3 will activate backup power so that you can keep power on to things like your computers, uh, your microwave, your refrigerator, without having to reset the clocks. And then finally, in terms of warranty, each unit comes with a five-year manufacturer's warranty. Now, the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 is the, the highest or the largest in terms of power and capacity for an all-in-one solar generator system. And when I say all-in-one solar generator system, what I really mean is the, the inverter and the battery storage, everything is self-contained on one unit and it's built for portability. So we'll show you this once we get it out of the box. I actually believe it's got a built-in carry handle and wheels to help facilitate uh, moving the unit around. And then we're gonna get it powered up and we're gonna run some heavy loads here within the house to show you what this thing can handle. So we've got the unit out of the box now. I wanna kinda of walk you through the different inputs and outputs around the outside of the unit. So on this side, you've got your 30 amp RV style power output. And then if I rotate this around to the front, this is where you actually have your main display. You can actually see that the battery came factory charged at about 31% state of charge. And then here's where you have your high voltage AC outputs. So you've got four standard 120 volt, 20 amp outlets here. You've also got your 30 amp twist lock, uh, 120, 240 volt outlet. So this is like your standard generator uh, output. And then you have, uh, looks like you have an additional uh, 240 volt only single outlet here. Now the reason I like this power output is because it's, 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 it's already an established standard. Most portable generator systems are going to have this four prong twist lock 30 amp output. And so if you want to interface this unit to provide backup power to your whole home, all you have to do is hire an electrician, ask them to wire your home for a generator backup with a standard 30 amp generator input, and then you can basically do the purchasing, and in this case there's no real, real assembly to it, but basically you can take the power output directly from the Delta Pro 3 
and feed that into a generator inlet to provide backup power to your entire home if needed. Now on the other side here, you've got some low voltage DC connections. So this is uh, 12 volts uh, up to 30 amps. And then you've got also a, a DC input for charging as well. And that's one of the things that you should know about these solar generators. You, you can charge from multiple power sources. It's not just a solar generator. Uh, you can charge from DC power source. You can charge from uh, AC power source. In fact, we'll show you in a moment here, just plugging into a wall outlet to charge for an AC power source, perhaps if you're planning on going mobile. Uh, and then of course you can charge from solar as well. Okay, so back here is where you have your various charging inputs. So here's the input for our AC charging cable, which I'm gonna hook up in a moment. You've got your selector switch for if you want fast charge or standard charge. And then you've got a solar adapter if you wanna input solar. So on the high voltage side, you can go up to 150 volts of solar input. And then on the low voltage side, you can go up to 60 volts of DC input. The connectors here allow you to connect additional battery storage modules. Right now, we're just using the base unit, which provides 4.1 kilowatt hours of storage and up to 4,000 watts continuous output. And then over here allows you to interface with the EcoFlow smart panel. So if you wanted to use EcoFlow's home backup smart panel, which allows you to take advantage of automatic uninterrupted power supply, as well as intelligent load control, you can connect that here. Um, by the way, if you haven't seen our video, go back and watch our other video where we teach more about the EcoFlow smart panel. Now, the other thing I wanna show you guys is just how well built this unit is for portability. So you can see there's carry handles on either side of the top. You've got your wheels built in. And then they've put this carry handle for almost like a, like a carry-on luggage type, type of carry handle. So if you need to take this, move it around, take it with you. I mean, as far as a close to 100 pound battery goes, uh, I think it's, it's pretty, pretty easy to work with here. Let's put that back. And what I'm gonna do now is plug the unit into charge for a bit. We're gonna use our AC charging cable, get the battery state of charge a bit higher than where we are now, and then we're gonna run some heavy loads off the Delta Pro 3. And now you can see how many watts are coming in now off the AC power source. Now I expect this is gonna level out at probably no higher than 1500 or 1600 watts. Of course, a standard 15 amp, 120 volt wall outlet. It's not gonna really allow you to pull any much more than that on a continuous basis. But you can track all that here. Yep, you can see we're right around 15, right around 1500 watts draw. And then the main display here in the center tells us battery state of charge, as well as how much time it would take to achieve full charge. All right, so we've had the unit plugged in charging for about 20 minutes now, and we're able to get the battery up to 46% state of charge. Now I wanna start trying to run some loads off of the unit. Now first, we're gonna just plug some appliances directly in to the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. On the front here, we actually have separate inverter outputs for the 120 volt side and the 240 volt side. So we'll start with the 120 volt side first. I'm just gonna turn that on. And I figured a great first test would be the toaster oven. You know, anything that has a large heating element is going to be a heavy draw. So let's see how the unit holds up with the toaster oven running. All right. So the toaster oven's on now. With that heating element, you see we're pulling just over 1,100 watts. Now again, I don't expect this unit to struggle with, frankly, any appliance that can plug into one of these standard 120 volt wall outlets. This unit is rated for 4,000 watts continuous power. The most you're really gonna draw on any one single appliance is about 1,800 watts at a time. So once we've tested out the toaster oven, what I'm really interested in is what happens when we use the 240 volt output to hook this up for whole house backup. All right, now when you're preparing your house for a battery backup or a generator backup, you need to have some sort of a, a switching mechanism so that you can disconnect from the power grid but still safely energize backup power into the home. Now we're at Dan's house in central Virginia again, and this house is wired for a 50 amp generator input, and we've got it wired in a whole house backup configuration. So if you look in the main electrical panel here, this device here is called an interlock. And what this does is it, it physically forces you to disconnect the main breaker or disconnect from grid power 
before we can activate generator power on this 50 amp circuit breaker here. Uh, and the reason this is here is it's a safety issue. So if, if the electric grid's unstable, there might be linesmen out there working on repairing the electric grid. We don't want to send voltage from our battery system or our generator back out on the line where it could shock somebody. So this device forces us to disconnect from the grid via the main breaker before we energize backup power. Now, the other nice thing about this again is the convenience of being able to hire a low cost local electrician to wire your house for standard generator backup and then basically do the rest of the battery integration yourself using a standard generator cable. Now, EcoFlow also has a smart panel. So if you didn't want to wire for whole house backup with a traditional panel, by using the EcoFlow smart panel, you actually can have automatic backup switching if you have the unit plugged into the smart panel, and you can take advantage of intelligent load management. Now, when I talk about intelligent load management, what I mean is you can prioritize the importance of the various circuits and appliances within your home. So let's say if you're running on backup power and the battery starts to draw down low, well, you may not want to run everything in the house at that time. You may want to turn off certain high draw but non-essential items, things like electric ovens, electric clothes dryers. You don't necessarily need all those things running in a backup power mode. Those things can tend to drain the battery very, very fast. But in today's example, we're showing doing a whole house backup for a house that's already wired for a generator so that the actual work of getting it connected to the house is super simple. We're just going to use a standard generator cord. So the house we're in now is wired for a 50 amp generator input. The EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 uses the uh, more common 30 amp twist lock style, style generator receptacle. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this adapter, which plugs into the 30 amp receptacle and then provides a 50 amp style cord so we can use a 50 amp cord to plug into the house here. So I just plug the adapter in here. And now we can plug in our generator cable. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and connect our generator cable to the house inlet. And then finally, we'll plug into our, our power source here. Now we're going to plug into our EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. This is our backup power source. And now we're going to simulate a grid outage and energize backup power into the house panel. So I'm going to turn off my main breakers here. And you'll see when that main breaker turns off that that now physically allows this plate to slide down so I can activate backup power via the generator plug. All right, now I can activate backup power via the generator plug. I can see the lights are back on here in the garage. And based on my display, we've got about, about 400 watts, 500 watts of load within the house. Now, this is a very energy efficient home. So the base load in the house is quite low. Right now, resting at about 400 watts. That's a couple of refrigerators, TV, computer, chargers for cell phones, and things like that. But what I want to see is how this unit responds when we start running heavy loads, like microwaves, or maybe even the central air conditioning unit. Let's check it out. All right, let's go in the house and see what the power situation is in here. All right, everything looks normal in the kitchen here. Igniter on the stove is working. Lights, of course, refrigerator's back on. But I wanna see what happens if we try to run more heavy loads. Let's try the coffee maker. Now, you know, anything like this that has a large heating element is gonna be a more heavy draw. So I know with the espresso machine here, we're gonna be putting a pretty decent load on the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. Now, I did notice a slight flicker on the lights when the heating element engaged, but unit's holding up fine so far. Okay, so it can handle the espresso machine, but what about the microwave? Now microwaves tend to be a slightly higher draw, anywhere between 1,000 to maybe 1,800 watts. Let me see if you're gonna heat this cup of water, what that does, see if the unit holds up. Mm -hmm. 
no flicker on the light, so it seems to be handling the load with no problem. All right, so we're about to almost 3,000 watts of draw with the microwave running, but the unit seems to be holding up fine. All right, got my warm water here. Microwave seemed to not give the unit too much trouble. Well, let's see how far we can push it. Next, I want to try the central air conditioning unit. So the AC is off right now and it's 69 degrees in the house. Let me go ahead and turn this on. Let's dial it down. Oop. We broke it. <laughs> okay, so there's our answer. So it looks like the uh, unit powered itself off to protect itself from overload. And uh, that's pretty, pretty typical. If, if, if the system itself detects that there's more draw coming off than what it can handle, it just disconnects the load so it doesn't cause any kind of permanent damage internally. Um, let's see if I can turn back on here without the AC turning on. Okay, and we're back to normal, normal backup power. So I think, you know, my impression of this is it's an excellent solution as far as for portable use or even for light home backup. Um, but it's not going to give you that kind of horsepower to run the whole house central air conditioning. For that, you want to consider one of the, the larger units like the Delta Pro Ultra that we reviewed previously. In fact, you can go and see our previous video on doing whole house backup with the Delta Pro Ultra, which is going to give you um, almost double the amount of continuous power capacity. Okay, so that wraps up our load test of the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. Um, as I said, basically great solution for home backup with the exception of central air conditioning. But all of our 120 volt loads ran flawlessly. Lighting, toaster oven, microwave, espresso machine. So anything like that, of course, TVs, computers, cell phone chargers, all that's gonna run fine on the unit here. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is, is disconnect. We're gonna switch the house back over to utility power and we'll wrap things up. All right, so this has been an introduction and hands-on review of the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. Uh, again, I think an excellent solution for portable power applications and even for home backup. Uh, we were able to interface this with the home's electrical panel to provide backup for virtually all the 120 volt loads within the home. Um, I really like the split phase output. This is a, is a real game changer for a unit like this because this allows you to, again, use limited use of an electrician to wire a home for generator backup. If, if your goal is to use this as a home backup solution, you can have an electrician wire the home for generator backup at a very, very low cost compared to a whole house solar battery backup installation. And then you as a system owner can actually do the electrical connection yourself using a standard 30 amp generator cord. Uh, so we exercised that, able to charge from AC power source, able to charge from solar. You can output from receptacles directly on the unit or interface it with the home using the 30 amp twist lock outlet. So this is the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3.